Hey y'all, this is uh, part two of my solar video. Uh, just a uh, kind of follow up on things that I uh, wanted to do or what could have changed. Uh, last video I showed you uh, kind of pretty much uh, all the components and how to hook it up and everything. So, let's get into it. Welcome to Noah's Ark in Saw Homestead. I'm going off the grid. So yeah, even though uh, I posted that uh, video a week apart from this video, you can see with the leaves, the season has changed. I made that video this summer, and now we're in uh, to winter time. And uh, so it's giving me uh, a season to kind of figure out uh, what I kind of like and what's going on with uh, my panels here. So I don't remember, I never told the name of the brand of... Uh, his panels, but this is a uh, grape solar, and they were actually pretty reasonable price at the time. Um, it was kind of before a lot of shortages. I got these; they were like around seventy bucks uh, a piece, and they're hundred watts a piece. So I, I still like these. Uh, I feel like they're pretty good. Now, one thing that I would have done different is the batteries. So yeah, remember I showed you I got these golf cart batteries, lead acid batteries. Yeah, the lead acid batteries. If if I had to do it over again, I don't think I would I would have got those. I just got those because at the time they were easy available at a local shop, and uh, and I like I like the idea. They said they would last ten years if maintained. So they kind of sold me on that at the time. If I had to do it over again, uh, they got these now. Um, I, I believe they're older technology. Uh, lithium uh, is the lithium iron. And they've come down to a reasonable price now. Uh, probably about as much as I paid for those. If you was to get it from a, a wholesaler, I believe, uh, online. And that's, that's what I would have done now is uh, not even mess with the lead acid and go straight to the uh, lithium iron. Of course, if I had the money, you know, it would be like Tesla Powerwall. But, you know, I'm uh, on a budget. I'm sure like most of y'all are also. So. And uh, something else I would have done. This is my lead uh, going from the batteries to my inverter. This two-gauge uh, cable that I made actually out of a uh, cheap pair of jumper cables and I already got a comment on my last one that I showed uh, that they're not full copper so this other end of my uh, cable that I had cut off and yeah it was just copper coated and not solid copper so that is kind of frustrating to see that and I would recommend actually Paying the extra hundred dollars and getting the real deal cables. So, so if I had a bigger battery bank, I would, uh, I would definitely be more worried about it. But I'm just gonna. I haven't had any problems yet. So, and I've been um, on the full electrical. I see if it's warming up or getting hot, and so far it's been okay. So, I'm just gonna go with it for now. But. I would uh, definitely recommend get certified uh, the real deal. And uh, this is also a great solar, which is also uh, what my panels are. And I know I made like a, accidentally made a slobby mark last time. I said the only thing uh, I like about this is uh, it can do 12 in uh, uh, the uh, uh, 24 volt and. Uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't mean it like that. Actually, this has been very good uh, uh, to me so far. And and I like the way that you can actually, through here, um, have multiple. You can like put two of them together, uh, have dual uh, controllers. So, so it kind of makes your setup like I have here, modular. And, and if I like it, I can just double everything. And then it's, it all hooks up nice so so uh, I guess I didn't uh, I like this so <laughs> so something I've done here with the inverter 
I had two plugs. Usually I just have one plug in at a time because I, I made these, uh, what I'm kind of calling it, uh, a daytime and an evening um, analog program. So in the daytime, I um, in the daytime I have the middle one there's the fridge. This one here, I charge my fan for the night, and then here I can I charge the laptop. So I do this during the day. Um, the fridge you got a so I run the fridge during uh, peak solar hours, and then um, turn it off in the evening. So I would actually pull this out now. And then in the evening, I would plug this one in, which is my TV and lights. Well, that's just a spotlight that I'm using now. So that's really my two main things is be able to cool down the fridge in the day. And then in the evening time, have a... You know, a couple hours of uh, entertainment uh, for bed. I like this here. Got this for Christmas. It's a uh, smart light bulb in here. So it's, and it can connect to different Bluetooth stuff. That's kind of neat. So I have a little bit of smart technology and a off-grid cabin. And uh, so that's pretty much what it's about. Yeah, believe it or not, actually, yeah, just uh, solar of the day, and it uh, when my balls of water froze, and actually got some ice. Yeah, because normally I actually use the top part is the the actual fridge fridge, so somewhere between freezer and a fridge, that's for delicate stuff like meat, and then down here I keep mostly condiments and stuff like. Um, uh, fermented foods that are not as you know not as important i mean important but in a different way sensitive here we go so this is the first inverter i started out with was a 24 volt inverter and if i had to do it over again i wouldn't start off that way i know a lot of people end up going that way to run 24 volt appliances um that are more efficient but for me, and I guess uh, I actually burnt this up in a few months, um, and I was kind of disappointed in uh, you know I thought it was cool military applications and ooh twenty three hundred watts. But when I uh, the actual fuses inside, you can't just pull out and put back in like they soldered them in there. Now this is an older one. I read that the newer ones you can it's actually has like a front plate or something and you can pop the uh fuses in and out. But on this older one, um they they wanted uh you to send it off for whatever fifty, a hundred bucks for them to solder and resolder new fuses in there. And um so I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to this brand, but uh but i know the newer ones have you can actually pull and replace on your own and uh sticking with the 12 volt system because uh my golf cart batteries are six volt batteries uh because i had to put four uh of the batteries in s series yeah uh just to get the 24 volt it was uh, really taking away uh, my amps so so now I think I'm having way more better performance with the six volt batteries in a regular 12 volt system than I was uh, uh, having to hook them all the big roll of them up uh, just to get that 24 volts um, yeah because because I only got I only have eight batteries and so that only made you know two of the parallel connections uh to get there so so as you know i think 12 volts for the system so far is working better for me 
And also with the uh, lead acid, you always got to make sure to full of water. I got the distilled water. And uh, what else on my mind? So I didn't, I didn't just start off with this big set. I practiced with um, to get comfortable with this uh, Harbor, Fe Harbor Freight uh, panels. Um, I believe these are like 25 watts a piece. And I got two of the older ones. I think they're 15 watts a piece. And um, they got all, they look like Legos. It's almost like a Lego set. And they make it real easy to work with. You know, excuse me, I, I probably should have a propane tank right here next to the, my batteries here, but uh, just kind of don't think about that. Um, so yeah, I just started off with this little hobby set until I got comfortable. And that's when I finally can feel comfortable enough where I can start hooking stuff up. So it wasn't all at one time that, you know, I did this, you know. And maybe something to think about is uh, taking like a small class, a workshop or something. That would probably really uh, uh, help. Uh, it would have helped me <laughs> to say that. And, uh, cause you know, I spent a lot of hours just trying to do research on my own. And, and then, uh, I played for that other one for quite a while before I even felt comfortable. So I think I would have been more comfortable from the beginning if I had actually taken a workshop or something. Uh, well, guys, guys, hope, uh, this helped you or some way, <laughs> fashion form. Just remember, uh, this claim, this, Stuff is dangerous, uh, and probably is best get find certified people to at least help you or something. All right, have a great day. Hey guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Maybe even leave a comment. These videos are for entertainment and inspirational purposes, only to uh, inspire you. Have a blessed day.